Pregnancy Care Centers and Christ Centered Ministry, dedicated to reaching women who are experiencing unplanned pregnancies with support and resources so that they may give the gift of life to their unborn children. We do this by sharing Christ's love with them first because we know that without Christ, they cannot change um, this, these patterns that they have going on in their lives. So, um, <clears throat> This is our new addition in Clearwater. I know that many of you have been praying for us for years um, just to have a new building in Aiken. And in October, God blessed us with not only a new building for our Aiken Center, which is on Silver Bluff Road, but also an addition. So um, we want to thank Hyde Church and Lakeside Baptist, who's here with us tonight, um, for helping to make that possible. We're located on Jefferson Davis Highway in Clearwater beside Me Rancho Mexican Restaurant. So please come by and see us. I've put a few pictures on here for you to see. This is the waiting room, the reception area. This is our baby closet that many of you have donated um, clothes and um, wipes and diapers, baby items. Uh, this is our administrative assistant, Christy Shealy. And April and myself, um, and then just, this just tells how we do the things that we're able to do. We um, are helping to provide for these women spiritually, emotionally, physically, the needs that they have that are pregnancy related, and also just being a parent, not just the ones who are pregnant, but the ones who are um, already had like two, three, and, and more children. Um, educating the community on sexual purity. I recently finished a 10-week study with a local church meeting with them every Wednesday night on a purity class. Involving the church's organizations and individuals in the ministry, developing the pregnancy care center ministry for long-term effectiveness, with this year focusing more on entering the schools. We really would like to see more people, volunteers, um, staff in the school system. And we are really praying that God is going to allow that to happen this year, even if it is during after school hours, which is what they're saying that may be possible for us to meet after school with the young people. We're just praying that they will come together, um, since it will have to be on a volunteer basis if we do it that way. Um, Last year, our statistics were, we served over 1,400 clients. Approximately 200 of them were new clients, having never walked through the doors. We did approximately 12 ultrasounds, and these were women considering an abortion. And out of the 12 ultrasounds, only four women carried through with having an abortion. We we're able to be back in touch with these young women, and I personally have spoken with a couple of them who would like to come in for more counseling. So there are even still opportunities for us to minister to these women. Prenatal and parenting classes are taught on average about 200 times a quarter. Um, we do classes every single day. The Aiken Center is so busy, we do a class just about every hour on the hour. We're over four hours a day, so if, if we have walk-ins, we have extra classrooms set up, we use the waiting room. So we don't really turn anyone away if they want to come in for a class. They know that when they come in for a class, they can earn mommy dollars to shop in the baby closet, and that's why it's called the Earn While You Learn program. So, where are we going? We would like to hold more Bible studies in the, in the offices. So if you know that you can't donate time for a whole day, maybe you or your church group says, well, we would love to do a Bible study one day a week in your pregnancy center. Then just contact us and let us know. And that would be a great way to give back just an hour of time instead of, you know, the whole time we're open of four hours. We can plan these young women to be here at that particular time. Many of our clients do not work, so that would really work out perfect. Okay. Um, we'd like to expand our services um, so that we can do even more, and of course that would be by 
some of the things we just talked about. <clears throat> and then prevent. Begin, care, begin presenting purity and abstinence regularly in churches and schools. Um, so again, we would like to see that in the future, this coming year, that we could get into the schools and into the churches more. And of course, we need volunteers, volunteers. Um, and then expand. We'd like to be a resource with youth pastors and churches. So through um, giving and um, our time and financially, the Pregnancy Center would like to be able to be a resource for youth pastors that they can come to us and say, can you come to our church and talk to our youth? Um, can you do a 10-week Bible study? And if we only have one person, that kind of really stretches me out pretty thin to go everywhere um, when we have two or three churches contact us at the same time. So if you really have a passion to see that also, then you can come to the Pregnancy Center, become a volunteer, we can train you, and you can be a light out there. And then how you can help. You can pray, number one, prayer. We are Christ-centered at the Pregnancy Care Center. We strive to be Christ-centered. We believe that all things um, should start with prayer. So, um, sir, you can donate your time as a volunteer weekly or for special events. You can speak. You can be that voice to the unborn, to those around you. You can invite one of us, a staff member or a volunteer, to come to your church or your organization. And then listen, hear God speak to your heart about the pain of abortion, the joy of creation of life, and help others to understand. And then you can give. You can become a monthly donor um, and support the work of the ministry. And you can designate your funds on the back of your reply card. At the end of the evening, Cleve will talk a little bit about the end of the evening. On the back of the reply card, um, we put a section on there that we've never put on there in the past, and it says designate your donation. You may want to say, I want this to go to cribs, for example. Many of you may not know this, but there's been recalls on all of these cribs. Any crib that lets down has been recalled. So for our clients, we can't give used cribs out anymore because if you already have a crib at your house, then you send off for a recall. If you contact the 1-800 number, whoever has the crib, they'll send you a clip that goes on the crib free of charge. But for us, our clients come and get cribs at our office. They're used and they're broken down. And if we give them a clip, they're not going to understand how to properly put it on. We can try to explain it to them, which we definitely will try to do. But the point here is that next year, we're going to need new cribs. Um, instead of used ones, unless we can guarantee to the, um, I don't know, whatever organization is over that, that we would be able to teach these women how to put the cribs together properly. I knew y'all would like that. Isn't that sweet? I thought it was precious. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the next speakers. And Let's just see if we can learn something about the youth in our area. Thank y'all so much for coming.